what's up guys and welcome back to another video and in today's video I will be showing you on my new intro template that I just made it's a minecraft 3d intro template that I just made and this is what it looks like uh, here it is hope you guys like it and then I'll show you the media fire link after <laughs> So yeah, that's your intro, intro template that I just made with After Effects. So the requirements you're going to be needing for this is After Effects, of course. Uh, CS5 and above, I believe. Actually, no, I think you have to have CS6 and above. Um, and, um, <clears throat> sorry about that. A, um, and, um, and media, and act that's basically all you need. And after you do that, I will show you. I will show you the download link, and you'll get this. You'll get a zip folder. Unzip that, and you'll get this thing. First of all, you're gonna want to install this font in this folder that you get. Just in, cl double click that and install it. And then, then you'll be have this 3D intro template. You're gonna want to double click that. Sorry if you hear any background noise. That's uh, I'm having a uh, sort of party. Right now, so I'm kind of rushing. And uh, just wait for After Effects to load up. It actually takes quite a while uh, since this is a 3D um, thing. Mm. Sorry about that. So, yeah, just wait for After Effects to load up. And, okay. Just wait for it to load up. And now it's open. So now you'll be greeting, re greeted with all these stuff that you're probably not familiar with. Um, so basically, I'm just going to show you how to change the chat, the text of the thing, and yeah, stuff like that. With this to load up, it's going to take quite a while. Um, it's going to take like I don't know. Okay, now it's uh, loaded up. I have it in quarter quality, so uh, so you can uh, so I can actually move around here. So yeah, now uh, to change the name, as you can see, it says name here. You can change it to whatever you want. So name here, uh, you're gonna want to change this to whatever you want. Just call it like I don't know, Steve. No. Whatever you want, just just type in whatever, and then you're gonna wanna uh, center it uh, pretty well. Oh wait, whoops! You're gonna wanna center it pretty well in the thing, and once you have that centered, um, yeah, you're basically uh, done. And uh, here, let me check something. If you have to do this, one second. One second. Ah, slagging a lot. I'm very sorry. Again, this is a 3D um, thing, and I'm giving it to you for free, so deal with it. So, yeah, you're also going to need to change the back one here that says name here, too. Just change that to whatever your name is, which is mine is Kaiden. And then, of course, you need to... Uh, Center it as well as you can. So there we go. Once you have everything centered, uh, you're then going to want to... Uh, then it'll uh, be as your intro right here. And you can also change the song and stuff if you would like to. Just go into 3D text right here and just change the song. Also, um... Uh... To render it, you're going to want to click on the 3D intro template right here. Composition. And composition up here. And click Add to Render Queue. Then, down here, you want to click on Lossless. Add Audio audio Output. Uh, from QuickTime, you're going to want to change to H.264. Or whatever you need. If you have Windows, I'm not really sure. You're going to have to look up a video on that. Click OK. Name this whatever you want to your desktop. Call it like intro or something. Click save and then click render. 
and you're basically done. Um, then you can add that to your videos. It does take quite a long time to render, and the link to get it, it will be a media file link, so you can download it and and just basically do stuff from there. Hopefully you guys like this tutorial. Please like, favorite, uh, comment, and subscribe. Tell me down in the comments if you like the intro. And, um, yeah, guess I'll see you later, guys. Peace.